Buddy's Garage is a pretty decent animation. This is, of course, a Warner Brothers Buddy cartoon from 1934. It's directed by Earl Duvall and Jack King and written by Ben Hardaway. And we have voices provided by Bernard B. Brown as Buddy, Jane Withers as Cookie, and Billy Bletcher as a character who's listed as Gruff Guy on IMDb, which I think is a pretty good description. At the beginning of the cartoon, we see Buddy working in his garage. The car gives itself a shower. The dog helps to pump up the tires. It's great fun, really creative, really well animated. And then this guy comes along with his car, and this is, of course, the Gruff Guy. And he definitely looks very rough and slimy and not a very pleasant individual. And then he decides to pick up Cookie and put her in his car and kidnap her. And obviously, Buddy gives chase and does everything he can to try and rescue Cookie. And I won't say any more than that about what happens because I, I thoroughly recommend it. I think this is one of the most straightforward Buddy cartoons chronologically. I'm watching them in order, and I think this is the fourth or fifth one that I've seen. And the first one was really straightforward, no problems, really delightful. From that point, the cartoons have had maybe one or two things about them that I didn't love. This one, it was pretty perfect. It was very, very well animated. It's very creatively done. And the narrative structure is, it's very straightforward. It's as simple as I've said. We spend time in the garage. The guy comes along, Cookie is kidnapped. Buddy goes after her. Very straightforward narrative structure and one that means we can focus on the animation quality and the comedy in it rather than trying to keep up with a more complex narrative. And the pacing of it is really great as well. And and I had a lot of fun with it. I thought it was really entertaining and really engaging and very, very well animated. I think it's my second favourite Buddy cartoon so far. Second favourite in terms of personal preference but it might actually be the best so far in terms of creativity, comedy, animation style. I mean, the style is pretty much always the same, but there are some things here and there that are maybe a little bit more detailed than previous cartoons. And the pacing is great. The structure is brilliant. All things considered, it's it's pretty awesome. It might not be anything groundbreaking. It's not unique. There are many, many cartoons from this time that are like this, where a girl is kidnapped and, and her boyfriend or at least a hero goes after her to try and save her but it works very well and this is a really good example of how to do that narrative uh, quite straightforward but with a, a lot of great things and obviously we have a great voice cast and it's one that I really thoroughly enjoyed and I'd be very happy to watch it again if you haven't seen anybody cartoons I would recommend watching them in order simply because that's what I'm doing and I'm enjoying doing it that way but if you want to watch this one first I'd say it's a really good example of a quality body cartoon and ultimately I can't wait to watch the rest of them.